the Strategic Air, Air Command. Command. I believe, yeah, uh, Paul Buka, that, that they, they are, are the ones, ones who are responsible for delivering nuclear weapons, weapons. They're the to ones the enemy. Are responsible for the projecting of the battlefield around the world. B-52s, B-2s, that type of thing. Sounds dangerous. It sounds very dangerous. Well, Especially if it's not the right person in charge or the wrong country gets it. They, uh, they helped win the Cold War. That's, Correct. Uh, that's for sure. Well, welcome to our coverage of the New York City Veterans Day Parade on 11-11-11. It's a little nippy in the air, but uh, everybody seems to be enjoying this great parade. I want to introduce you to our next guest, Lieutenant Colonel Kathleen Malone. She's an Army nurse uh, who works here in New York, I believe, Yes, right? I do. I work over at the VA in Brooklyn. Welcome to the ah. show. Thank you. Now, you're active duty? I'm in the reserves right now. In the reserves. Yes. And, but you're in the reserves, but your full-time job, you're working for vets at the same time. Absolutely. Now, Absolutely. you've served Tremendous. all over the world. Yes. Tell us a little bit of what, what you did. Okay. First, my first um, experience overseas was with Desert Storm back in 1991. And I can't believe it's been 20 years since uh, Desert Storm happened. I remember that. Oh, I was a brand goodness. new second lieutenant. And um, since then, I was uh, stationed over in Korea, and I was stationed over in Germany. Always as a nurse. Always as a nurse. At a MASH when you were in Desert Storm? Desert Storm, I was with the Combat Support Hospital, 41st Combat Support Hospital. How do you comfort these people? I mean, you you know, it's one-on-one, -on -one and, and I'm sure you've seen some horrible things. Yes, I have. Uh, it, you just do it. It's just the instinct in, in you, and um, it's something that we've trained in nursing school, and you just it's something that you just do, and you feel satisfied um, knowing that you've made a difference. Well, I've watched a lot of MASH. <laughs> With Alan Alda, and <laughs> Hot, I'm sure Hot, you have. Hotlets Houlihan. <laughs> Let me ask you something. Uh, how realistic was that show? Uh, pretty realistic. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Really? Uh, well, yeah. I mean, it's it's a way to cope, and you know, you just you get along with everybody, and and it's just you know, everybody supports one another. Well, I want to I want to tell you that yes. everybody talks about the injuries and wounds of war. Right. This mysterious, miraculous. Military health care has met, taken so many people from the battlefields that in other wars would have been in the KIA category, the killed in action. And you've saved them. Absolutely. And you've brought them back to resume their lives and Absolutely. be contributing to our society. So from one just one soldier to you, thank you for that wonderful chore well, that you do. Thank you. Thank you for your service. And Greg, thank you for your service. I know you've served. Not at all. <laughs> it was nothing. No, I really, the Marine Corps was very good to me, and I, uh, I'm just honored to, uh, and, and I really feel privileged to have had the opportunity. But Paul brings up an important point. We have people returning from war right now who would not have returned uh, from previous conflicts because of the technology and because of the Absolutely. skill of people like you. Absolutely. Well, what I do in the reserves is I teach um, combat lifesaver for the uh, 68 whiskeys who are the combat medics, and we teach self-aid and buddy aid. And, you know, with uh, the application of the tourniquets, with uh, the, uh, taking, uh, fixing the chest wounds and, you know, stopping the bleeding, uh, we have come a long way in saving the soldiers. So are you at the VA hospital in Decker Heights? Yes. Right. Oh, uh, Bay Ridge. Bay Ridge. Yes. Right okay, my own right stopping grounds. There you go. All right. Well, thank you fantastic. for all that you do. Well, thank you so much. Lieutenant Colonel Kathleen Malone. All right, sign to go to Elise. She has a very special guest on Fifth Avenue. Oh, hi, Elise. I'm here with Robin McCarthy. She is a Blue Star mother. Hey, Robin, can you tell us a little bit about what a Blue Star mother is? And you're a veteran as well, I hear. So if you can tell us about that as well in your service. Thank you. A uh, well, Blue Star mother is someone who has a son or daughter in the service or anyone who has been in the service. And we've been around since 1942. So this, is, this year will be our 70th anniversary. We're thrilled to be here today. Well, it's so special to have you here. Now, what's a very important m memory that you have as a Blue Star mother? Uh, probably when I got a call from one of my sons, I had both boys in combat zones. One was in Iraq, one was in Afghanistan at the same time. They were only going to overlap for about five weeks, and my oldest son got extended for five months. So they were gone at the same time. And on Mother's Day, my oldest son called me at about 5.05 a.m. one morning, and I sat up on the phone, you know, talking to him on the phone, and then about 10 minutes later, my other son called from Iraq, on my other phone. So I took the two phones and let them talk to each other and listen to them. What kind of weapon have you got? Well, I'm carrying it. And I got to overhear their conversation on Mother's Day. So that was probably my happiest moment. Well, thank you for sharing that with us. It sounds so special. Stay with us as we come back and honor more service along the parade route. Yeah, 
I just stared down with death, and I won. Gentlemen, from now on, we're gonna have to earn our stories. Here we go, boy. Probably one of the most honorable places in America. Let's go! I'm proud to have served with each and every one of you. History's full of wars that are fought for a hundred different reasons. I have to believe that it's all worthwhile because our cause is just.